In The Bite Doc Talk, and uh, we're here on location in Orange Beach, Alabama with the uh, 2016 Gulf Division Captain of the Year, Captain Devin Potts, the Sea Mixer. And uh, Devin, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what it means to win the award? Uh, huge, huge career milestone for me. It wasn't for, for my crew and for the Davis family putting up the immense amount of money and, and time to fish the tournaments. Uh, this wouldn't even be possible. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great way to represent the team. And so the, the Davis family, you got uh, three generations fishing with you, huh? Yes, sir. Three, three generations of Davises, and they're great. This is their get away from work and, and, and have fun deal. So we keep it fun, and that's, that's the main thing. Awesome. So in the uh, 2017 OVBC, uh, you guys wound up with the second place Blue Marlin. Uh, but you had a pretty interesting story about uh, how it all came out. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, we've been a wheel coming out of Port Eads, and fortunate enough to have somebody bring us our spare set of wheels over to Venice. And so we got that and got the boat hauled out at 11. And by one o'clock, we were back in the water and we were back fishing by four. So logistically to pull that off was just uh, super huge. I don't know if I could do it again. <laughs> awesome, so you had your wife drop off your keys in your pickup truck and your buddy come pick up the truck, throw the spare wheels in the truck, and drive it, what, five hours to Venice? Five hours to Venice. And we honestly, we wasn't, by the time they knocked the wheels off the boat, we probably waited five or ten minutes and he come pulling up with the new set of wheels and it's like a NASCAR pit crew, you know, just fast. Yeah. Awesome. And, and you guys uh, pulled the boat at a commercial facility up the river, huh? Right. Yeah. Very commercial facility. <laughs> um, but they did, they did a great job. They took care of the boat and we kind of, I kind of knew where the string, slings needed to be. so. They just let us kind of do whatever, and they listen to us, and they worked their butts off through lunch to to get the wheels off and put the other ones back on, and I can't say enough, you know. I mean, I, I couldn't have done, I don't know that I could have gotten that done here that fast, but these crews, crews here are great too, but uh, those guys, the guys did it. They did it. Awesome. So the next day you were back out fishing at uh, 9.30 in the morning. You had your bite, and what, what, all, what all happened then? Uh, we started fishing at 4 the day we got out of the boat yard. Um, and meanwhile, we're hearing of all these marlin being tagged where we were fishing. Uh, so this just creates a lot of anxiety when you're sitting on the hill the first day of the tournament. But, um, but yeah, we got back out there and started fishing and 9.30 get a bite and fish ended up dying on us. And so we get it up two hours later, pull it in the boat and it measured. You can't make it up. It's like the highs and lows of uh, tournament fishing, you know, it's just one minute you're in the yard, next minute you're headed to the dock weighing a marlin, so. Uh, awesome, so it went, uh, it went 106 inches, 388 pounds, and uh, got you a paycheck too, huh? Yeah, $76,000, and so that's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you can't, it's hard to complain, you know. We had, uh, had some pretty crappy circumstances to start with, but uh, we never gave up, and we tried, and uh, fish hard, and you know. Like I say, it, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. This time it worked out, so just, just lucky, really lucky. A lot of good fishermen here, so, um, you know, luck, you know, a lot of luck. Awesome. Well, uh, appreciate that, buddy. Congrats on the award and, uh, you know, good going on your fish. Thank you.